user hierarchies is what I want to show you today. There are various um, ways of describing your organization to the system. You, you kind of draw a map of your, your organization which can be you know, divided uh, by p users' positions, which is the, like their, their job role. Um, the positions and organizations that we're looking at here are, are organized into frameworks. Each framework can represent a, a part of your organization. It's, a, it's really a way of categorizing things, and you may very well only ever need one framework, but um, uh, within the framework you then describe your organization in whatever way makes sense to you. Uh, there's huge flexibility in this. Not all of it's essential. Everything is optional at all times. There may be various points where these can overlap in their use. Uh, it all depends on your particular purpose for it and your reasons for using it. But it makes sense to have a an understanding of the various types of uh, arrangement we have here and how they relate. You, so you can work out how they relate to your organization and describe it uh, in a way that makes sense to you. Um, if I look at a, a learner's, a user's profile, this is uh, very much like Moodle, more or less the same thing really. In fact, exactly the same. I'll pick uh, a user here. Um, we can edit the profile in the same way as Moodle, but we have positions here, which is Totra's addition. And there are basically uh, three types of hierarchy which we can put a user into. Which we've just looked in the, I'll go back to here, the positions and organizations frameworks. Um, those are the first ones, so I've chosen a position there. I'll, I'll choose an organization for my user here. So uh, I'll just stick them in there. And um, I can choose a manager, which is a different type of uh, um, hierarchy, really. It's not defined in the same way that position and organization are, where you kind of draw a map of of your company with this uh, relationship it's just you're defining a relationship from the bottom up in a way the uh, every time you assign someone a manager you're effectively uh, drawing another level of your hierarchy uh, from the bottom up so here I'm uh, saying that this worker this user has a manager I'll uh, I'll say that's me. Right. Now, uh, this is a, an interesting point. At the moment, you can see my uh, my standard Totara menu here. This includes my learning, as every user has a, a my learning tab. Now, now that when I click update on here, I will become a manager of this user. And this makes a difference to my entire Moodle experience. <laughs> well, this is the Totoro edition, which I now, I'm a manager of someone, I have a team. And I can see, uh, as a manager, I can view specific reports that are pertinent to my team. Um, like, and reports is another feature which we'll touch on here, another Totoro feature which is added to Moodle. Um, the team report is one that's built in and just by this assignment of someone uh, as having a manager puts them into a team and the manager can view reports related to the team. If I uh, I'll look at reports themselves here, is uh, in the administration menu we have manage reports. Some are built in, these so-called embedded reports of which the team members view we were just looking at, that's one of them. Um, and we can create our own various reports. Um, 
Here's one for instance where I can see I can see anyone here, I can get a report on anyone from organisations or positions. If I edit the report and look at the content, basically, in fact access is quite important too, the, the access to this um, report means who is allowed to see the report and that's done by system role, that's uh, a Moodle thing which you may be familiar with. Um, now the content of the report basically means the users that I'm going to see in the report and uh, in the case of a user report such as this and how those users relate to me as the logged in user. So in this this report is showing all records but I could show uh, other things such as records for a user's direct reports that means anyone that's reporting to me people that are in my team people for whom I am assigned as manager on their uh, profile we could also show reports by people who are in the same organization or position or below or uh, below my position so people for whom I'm responsible there's another, uh, not really hierarchy, but this is another new feature in Totara, which I should touch on. The users accounts, we have audiences. Now in Moodle, this is called uh, cohorts. So uh, Totara have taken this and extended it quite vastly, but it's similar to organizations and positions as being another way to group people. It's not strictly hierarchical, um, it's extremely flexible and warrants a training video of its own really. But I thought I'd just mention that because this can also be used in reporting. And another feature of Totara is Totara Sync. It's basically similar to um, the user upload which is a, a Moodle feature but um, this it's not extending it it's completely separate it has its own menu down here um, it's called sync because it's intended um, to be used to synchronize this system with another you may have a, an HR system which can generate a, a CSV file, place it on the server where Totara can find it and it will be imported um, daily probably. It's, uh, I think by default it's set to check for uploaded files daily. So it can be used as an automatic uh, synchronization feature, but also it can be used similar to the uh, to Moodle user upload as a manual way of uploading a CSV file. Um, except that we've got the addition of organization, position, manager. All these hierarchical aspects can be included as well as the usual user, user profile fields. 